Hey Globetrotters and Vacation fans, this is Bill Wheeler with Wheeler Vacations. On today's show, we're going to alert you to a new advisory from the Department of State regarding travel to Jamaica. But before we deep dive into that, make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and hit that notify bell so you're the first to know when we upload new content to this channel. We'll be right back. Did you hit that subscribe button while we were away? We hope so because we want to make sure that you have all the tips for your trip so you know before you go. So let's talk about what the State Department now has to say about travel to Jamaica. There has, as you probably saw our earlier video on travelers beware to going to Jamaica when the State Department issued a level three advisory, reconsider travel. Well. In an article in the Travel Market Report on July 26, they have added additional information, that being the Department of State, has added additional information regarding what you need before going to Jamaica. Now they are strongly advise, advising all Americans going to Jamaica to get medical evacuation insurance in, along with your regular travel insurance. Now, we can certainly help you with that, but let's d dive in a little deeper into what is actually going on. Private hospitals require payment upfront before admitting patients and may not have the ability to provide specialized care. Ambulance services are not always staffed with EMTs or even always readily available, especially in rural areas. U.S. citizens should bring extra prescription medication as common medications such as insulin can be difficult to obtain. We strongly encourage you to obtain traveler's insurance, including medical evacuation insurance before traveling. The Department of State does not pay medical bills. Now the State Department goes on to say that if you should have a medical emergency while in Jamaica and you need to be medevaced back to the United States, this could actually run you $30,000, $50,000 or more. We know that some of the travel insurance that we actually help our clients with has travel medical evacuation insurance that has a limit of a million dollars. So regardless of what, which of the islands you're in, you would certainly be covered. Now let's, let's talk a little bit about what's going on as to what's driving all these decisions and all these alerts. The State Department's General Jamaica Advisory, which has been in place since last May, remains active and focuses on crime in Jamaica. Violent crimes such as home invasions, armed robberies, sexual assaults, and homicides are common. Sexual assaults occur frequently and local police do not respond effectively to serious criminal incidents. While arrests are being made, Cases are infrequently prosecuted to a conclusive sentence. Families of U.S. citizens killed in accidents or homicides in Jamaica frequently wait a year or more for final death certificates to be issued by Jamaican authorities. Now, let's be clear. We want you to travel. We just want you to be informed, safe, and make sure that you and your loved ones are protected in the best ways that, you, that we can possibly help you. And that includes situational awareness, staying with you know, resort or cruise line approved destinations or excursions, and we can certainly help you with travel insurance, expediting your passports if that's a concern, or any travel needs, whether it is just individual travel, families, groups, reunions, or even destination weddings. Give us a call here at Wheeler Vacations at 904-600-4911 or visit our website at www.wheelervacations.com. Give us a call today and your scrapbook will thank you. That's it. Check out our other content on this channel. And if you found this useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe or share it with someone you think would benefit from knowing this. 
That's all for today. This is Bill Wheeler with Wheeler Vacations and Bon Voyage.